to Dr. Ziyatma's YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss a small but very important aspect of our life that we keep on thinking which life would be a successful life and what we should do in order to make our life successful. There are different views about that. Some people think that successful life is having lots of money, good job and possibly a good woman with you as a wife and uh, possibly some future savings so that one can say that one is very good. Other people think that if they have earned honors, if they have earned respect, if they have earned place in the world, that would be a successful. So therefore, there are different views about success. In my opinion, success is that where you have acquired a lot of skills of your life and you can utilize them for your own benefits or for the benefits of the other people. Like for example, if we look at this one, we will be able to see that there are different places of life that someone is standing very high with education degree, that's right, that one can play a very good role in the world that one has achieved very good education and has become successful in that and has also some means and ways of conveying the benefits of that education, not only to him or herself, but also to the other. It means that this focuses on the learning, lifelong learning, what type of learning one needs to do. It's not just going to college or to the university and getting a degree. It also means that you're learning other skills of your life also through your experiences and through the events that take place with you. That can happen with men also, that can happen with women also. And with the passage of time, one grows old and old and these skills are there to help that person to survive in this world. These skills are there which help that person to be beneficial for the other people. These skills also help the people to spend their life in a very good way. And if calm and quietness and satisfaction is there, laughter is available, comfort is available in the end of your life, then definitely your life is successful. So it means that living a successful life means learning lifelong. That means throughout your life, you keep on learning. It doesn't mean simply to read the books. It also means something which is learning from the life, learning from mistakes, learning from the other people, etc., etc. If you are doing this, definitely you have acquired all whatever life was offering. And that is why you must be successful in this regard. And what are those pillars because of which such a lifelong learning can take place? According to some views, there is uh, the, the visibility of that learning should be there. For example, if you are learning something that must look in your style, in your behavior, in your working, in your mood, and even in your demeanor, it should look like that you have learned something and it must be relevant to you and the people may be able to access you as well. So it means that the learning and the experience which you have got are not simply only for you. These are for the other people as well and other people can access it as well. And it should be affordable and then it should be sustainable. It means that whatever you acquire as a life learning, you may be able to keep that, you may be able to follow that and you may be able to use it for the benefit of not only yourself but for the other one as well. It should have, have however a solid basis. I mean, if you are constructing something, if you are doing something, if you are acquiring something, the base must be very strong. If you have the strong base, definitely the learning would be sustainable also, it would be beneficial also. And it should be an aspiration for the other also. It means that whatever you are doing must be there to, to help other people get inspired and to do the same kind of thing also in order to improve your life. From this tree also, we can understand what actually means life learning. Life learning means that there must be certain competencies in us because of which life can become very good and the successful one. These are eight in number. Let's have a start with literacy. First of all, that means one must be literate, not only in reading of the books or writing of the letters, but also in using any machines, any dials, any screens or any other things where one feels to use them, one must be able to do that. So this much at least the literacy must be there that one needs to be literate, one needs to know who he is and what kind of life he's dealing with. And then he must be an entrepreneur. I mean, the spirit of entrepreneurship is there that helps us to go further and proceed further. Entrepreneurship doesn't simply mean that you're going to do some business. 
it means that you are all the time looking for something to do great to do good or to acquire something which is uh, definitely unique and possibly beautiful if you want to do that you must have certain spirits in you if these spirits are there and you can manage and plan for that and become successful that is entrepreneurship so not only one has to be literate but also one needs to put that literacy into entrepreneurship in order to develop further and one should have some competency of mathematics of science of technology and of engineering that doesn't mean that every one of us needs to become an engineer or a mathematician it means actually that we should have a little bit of understanding of mathematics we have we should have a type of mind which can calculate which can uh, figure out certain things which are happening around and which can design some of the activities of life or some of the things of life if one is able to do that I mean, I mean, we must be a little bit of technician, a little bit of engineer, a little bit of mathematician, a little bit of man of science also. And this in this 21st century is possible only when we proceed to the fourth point that is being digital. That means one must have this competency of using these digital devices, getting maximum benefit out of that. This is the age of digital literacy, not simple literacy of reading and writing, but also using of those digital devices, which have become 100% essential for us. And in today's world, artificial intelligence is spreading very fast in every field of life. One may be able to use them at least, if not able to construct them, one may be able to use that. And then at fifth number, the competency is that one should be able to learn from the other people. One should be able to learn to uh, how, how one can acquire benefit from the other people. When someone is meeting personally, someone is meeting socially, at that time we must be able to learn from the people. We must be able to learn from our environment as well. We must be able to learn from nature as well. We must be interacting with people personally and socially at all levels. We must meet the people. The competence is that we must acquire something from every person or the people that may be useful for our life to proceed further. And then at six number, there is the multilingual. That means one must not only be able to speak one's own language, one must be able to speak and use other languages as well that may be the languages of neighboring countries or languages of the advanced countries or any other languages because learning a language means that you are acquiring a competency you are trying to understand what the other people do with the help of their language so not only one may be able to speak the mother tongue that is uh, l1 l2s one may be able to use other languages as well the more languages you know the more competent you can be I mean, understanding the people, their culture, and interacting, interacting with them as well. So it means that being bilingual is beneficial, but then being multilingual is even more beneficial. So this is also one of the competencies which can make us successful in our life. Then we must be having a good citizenship. This doesn't mean that we must be American citizen or, or the Canadian citizen. It actually means that one must be able to become a responsible citizen that he must be able to know what are his rights what are his duties and how he can be beneficial for his country for his people for his state and how the people and state should come forward to protect him to defend him in an order to you know maintain everything of him if he's a taxpayer as well so it means that if he, the competency which we need to have is to be the successful citizen of our state of this world of this universe as well and lastly, the eighth competency skill is that we should have cultural awareness and we should be able to express that as well. This cultural awareness is not only for your own culture, but also for the culture of the other people. It means uh, respect other people's culture and get your culture respected. But you must be not of the, you know, a type of hybrid. Uh, you must be able to show what culture you belong to. If this is the case, it, you, are, you are telling the people, you are expressing the people that you have a culture and you are proud of that and you want to tell the people that you have this culture. But it doesn't mean that we should be rejecting other people's culture. We need to respect them as well. So cultural awareness and its expression is another competency to live a good life and to learning of that and to keep on doing what one is doing. So in that way, these are some of the issues that one must be able to know to make life, life of learning and a successful life. So according to me, these are some of the points which can be adopted in order to make life as successful as possible. So thank you for watching. That's it so far. Hope to see you in some next video. 
Till that time, see you.